They say it's sad that we deprive the option of the final release from the hellhole that they call life. We say it's sad that they can assume that life will continue to be a torture chamber, that life will continue to be a hellhole, however you change or you try to change that aspect and that perspective on life. We think that that's just plain sad. No, okay, I'm going to look at two things. Number one, should suicide be final? Number two, what will continue to happen as a result of taking our model? Number one, should suicide be final? The opposition tells you that, that the choice to commit suicide should be respected and should be final because the government doesn't own you. What we told you from Motoki that was never responded to by Mitsu is that the nature of that choice is fundamentally wrong to begin with, right? That it shouldn't be, um, that, like when he gave you the example of a torture chamber and the release of death, that structure of that choice is fundamentally wrong. It's not, it shouldn't be, do you want to stay in a torture chamber forever or do you want to die in that torture chamber? It should be, do you want to find a new room and do you want to try a new room again? And if that room is a torture chamber, we will find you another one. We are prepared to make you change rooms for an infinite number of times because we think that as a community we owe it to you as an individual to help you find a life that is worth living at the end of the day. And you as an individual living inside that community owe it to that community to keep looking for that ideal room. You have to go through 500 torture chambers. I'm sorry. But if in the 501st room you find paradise, we think that those 500 torture chambers were worth it. Because at the end of the day, we think that you, uh, you have to live here, that the life can be beautiful, and by God we are going to help you find a way to view it, view life the same way we do. Number two, the idea of what will happen as a result of taking our model. They said, that we, the people will continue to live in a hell. People will continue to be labeled disabled. People will continue to have to live with the label rape victim. People will continue to have to live with the label of having been tortured. What they fundamentally failed to recognize is that people have recovered from those kind of traumatic experiences like rape and torture. There are people who have managed to find new meaning in life rather than take the easy way out. And we are perfectly happy to label it as an easy way out because we think that at the end of the day, any life choice is better than a choice of finality. And we think that if people have recovered from the trauma of rape and if people can be helped to recover from the, tor like the trauma of torture or PTSD, then by God, we will help you think the same way. We will help you think that life can be beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Lastly, let's look at social movements, right? They said that social movements are only powerful when suicide is permanent. No, we don't think so, because it's still a tough choice to make to decide to end your own life. It's still a sad statistic that 30,000 people are revived every year in the same way that 30,000 people die every year. We think that that kind of movement will gain traction and will be able to change the work environment which is something that's happening already. At the end of the day, they never able, they were never able to told you, and I don't blame them because they've never experienced death, why death is final and why death is beneficial. We who are on the living have told you that any form of life can be beneficial and we will help you make it better and we are still extremely proud to propose.